So I made a simplified uh, Jewel Thief charger out of one of these. There's little garden lights that you put outside. They, each one of these come with a Jewel Thief basically already built into it. So you don't have to worry about the coils and what transi transistor to use or any of that because it neatly comes in on that little circuit board and I made a battery charger out of it double A here is charging this double A right here and it still produces light it's much brighter than that camera is putting on because I can see clearly right here and you can't really see it uh, but there is some modifications I had to do to it like I added a, a um, 1N007 diode right there where the uh, positive of the LED output would normally go and I replaced the LED that it comes with with a red LED from Radio Shack. Right there is the LED it comes with, and I replaced it with one of these guys. It comes with two in a pack. There's the model number, and there's the specs of it. And it does a really good job. Um, right here is the is a schematic of it it's very simple it's pretty much already made all you need is a, a new LED and a new diode and for convenience uh, I suggest picking up one of these battery holders too and I wrote a little bit of text on it too if you want to freeze it, you can. And yeah, the little store lights are about $2.50 at my local Walmart. So it's a pretty good deal. It's already, <laughs> Jilty is already assembled. You don't have to worry about coils or ordering any special parts. You just head up to Walmart and Radio Shack. And it does a really good job. Now it's right here. Here's the, I ran the rent last night. I started out at 1.49 volts. 9 volts on my uh, run battery and 1.210 on the charge battery and I uh, ended up at 1.491 on the run battery and 1.242 on the charge battery. That's pretty good. I, I lost 0 .008 but I gained 0 .032. That's um, those are very good results. Um, I'm still doing further testing. I have only uh, done it on uh, this setup, I get I did do a pre uh, another testing on batteries just like this one, but this is pretty much what I've done. Uh, I did add a uh, on and off switch to it, just to make my life a little simpler. And this is a case from an old CD uh, drive, so nothing hidden about it. It's it, it works. It <laughs> It works so good, it actually puts off enough light to be used as a nightlight. So I'm thinking about making a nightlight version of it that I can have nightlight, uh, light at night in my hallways, and charge batteries too. And I'm also thinking about making a flashlight version too. So as you use a flashlight, it charges its own batteries. So it's, it's very simple. You just take the circuit board out solder the diode onto the le uh, little legs it comes out of where the, the old LED used to be. Just solder uh, some connections on so you can connect your batteries. And the run battery connects directly to where the uh, original battery was. So if you want to keep uh, if you want to keep it like it was you can. Here's um. So basically if you want to still want to use this battery as a battery holder but just keep in mind it's still um, solar panel there so that solar panel is still going to be used for something but 
You can still keep this the same, keep your positive and negative still connected, and just use that if you want. And charge battery, it's it's very simple. It, just have a try at it. It won't cost you no more than five dollars. So what do you have to lose?